Are we live? <laughs> We're live, aren't we? <laughs> Hey everybody, Heidi here and I have my friend Tamara and she is going to be showing you um, some really cool stuff from Procreate. So I think you and Pixie would get along so well with this Procreate stuff because she loves it as much as you love it. So can you show us, um, I know you're going to do like a little lesson today on how people can do Procreate and then if you want to learn more you have a course that you can grab um today if you want there'll be the link in the description you can grab but um yeah take it over go for it Tamara okay so I get asked all the time how do you design your door hangers right because I teach how to paint wooden door hangers and so when everybody is always asking this I try to explain what procreate is because I use this app if you're looking for it in the app store it looks like this one right here see the little black one with the beautiful like rainbow swoosh through the middle of it and so um, you can actually take any like coloring page or you can draw your own if you're artistic or you can take one of our printable template designs. This is a stacked pumpkin design that we sell in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. And we have imported the JPEG image. So the JPEG is just the black and white image and we pulled it into Procreate. And I'm going to show you real quick. This is just going to be a real fast way of how I would decide how I'm going to paint this because I also have um, my wooden piece right here. And so we're going to kind of plan out what we're going to paint digitally. And then we're actually going to make it come to life uh, by painting it live with you guys. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Kath. Y'all say hello as you come in. Tell me where yeah. you're from. This is so cool. We have a ton of people saying hi. I thought I could comment on there, Tamara, but I'm not. I'm actually able to comment on my phone. So oh. I'm trying to, to help. But yeah, Kelly says your nails are really cute. Oh, thank you. We've got fall nails going on. I got a little pumpkin right there on that middle one. How cute. Okay, so I've got my JPEG image pulled in here. And the thing about Procreate is, is everything's in layers. So I have my, we'll call it our coloring page image. We have the coloring page in one layer and we're going to create a new layer to start creating the pumpkins. And so I want one of my pumpkins to be orange. So I'm just going to select an orange color. And then I like to also use um, a monoline brush, this one right here. And I have actually gone through here and edited some of these brushes. So if you see me grab a brush you don't recognize, it's because I have edited those brushes and made them my own. But you can kind of just take and color in the pumpkin. And this is not going to be perfect. This is just going to be a rough <laughs> sketch of what we want it to look like. And then I'm going to create another layer. And the reason I'm putting these in separate layers is so I can edit each pumpkin individually without messing up each pumpkin. So let's do this top pumpkin and I want it to be white. So I'm just going to trace right over the top of those lines. And I know you can't see it for just a moment, but we'll remove the background and you'll be able to see it in just a second. And so you can see we have a white pumpkin, an orange pumpkin. We're going to create another one. And this one I want to be like a light teal color. So we're just going to trace that one. So real quick, Tamara, is the reason that you like doing them on Procreate is because you can change colors and designs and kind of see what you like before you make it into your door hanger? Yes, exactly. So it allows me to kind of like pre-plan how I'm going to paint this. Um, and that way I kind of have a plan before I sit down and actually start painting. Okay. Okay. So now let, let's, uh, let's draw in the little stem. We're going to put it right up here at the top. We're going to pick a brown color. Let's see. And you can zoom in here. Oh, my paintbrush is really large. Let's make that smaller. Kim asks, can you create your own drawings and print them? Yes, absolutely. So actually, yeah, can we can print them on this paper? out when we're done, and I'll show you what it looks like. So do you see that I have my pumpkin here? I have three pumpkins. I have a stem, and then I have my coloring page. I'm going to uncheck the coloring page. So now you can see what we have. And the colors, I feel like, aren't showing up on camera quite like they are supposed to. <laughs> I think our, let me try turning off my ring light. That helps a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I feel like the. Yeah, it's like whenever you move it a little bit angled, it looks more orange. That's <laughs> so crazy how it's not picking up. I don't know what, why it does that. It's camera tricks. I know. It's it's something to do with the, the phone. Okay, we're going to continue on anyways. So on our top pumpkin, I want to add um, some like a diamond pattern. 
So to do that, I'm going to alpha lock this layer and I can do that by swiping to the right. And what that does is it makes it to where I can't color outside of this pumpkin. It has to stay inside the pumpkin lines. And I'm going to switch to a black and I'm just going to start creating like a diamond pattern. And by drawing this out ahead of time on the Procreate app, it's helping me decide if I like the colors I've chosen, if I like the patterns and stuff like that, rather than painting it and then deciding later, oh, whoops, I don't really like that and having to paint over it. Oh my gosh, Tamara. So this Santa Claus I just finished for Paint Party Headquarters, I literally had to paint so many layers on his face because I kept messing him up. <laughs> but I finally got him right. But this would have saved me so much time. Yes, it would have. All right. So I'm picking up a lighter orange and I'm going to alpha lock my orange pumpkin now. And I'm actually going to go grab a fun little stamp that makes a circle. And I'm just going to make some polka dots. That's way too big. Let's make it smaller. And I don't think I actually alpha locked that layer because it was trying to go outside the pumpkin. So see how when I put that polka dot there, hope oh, you guys can't see that, can you? Um, when I put that polka dot there, it stays inside the lines of the pumpkin. Let's make them a little bigger. Oh, that's cute. So it just makes it really easy to add details to your designs and kind of practice what you're going to paint first. So we got diamonds on the top one. We have polka dots on the second one. And I wish the lighting would. Oh, there you go. You can see it really good, good when you. If I get the angle there goes. just right. <laughs> and then I want to do leopard print on this bottom pumpkin. And I actually have a fun leopard print um, texture brush. So it actually makes leopard print for me. So I'm going to go Is grab that. Is that in Procreate or do you have to make it? That was one I purchased, actually. I bought it from somebody. They You can buy different brushes and stuff. So let me see if I can get the camera angle right. So Ooh, you there you go, right there. You still can't. Oh, hang on. Maybe the color's not right. Why isn't it showing up? Oh, I'm it's drawing like on the wrong layer. See how this orange layer was highlighted? I couldn't draw on the blue layer because I had the orange layer clicked. So we got to go to the blue layer. Now. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. As long as I don't pick my brush up, it will create that leopard print over the whole thing. That is so cute. So now what I like to do is I'm going to add a new layer on top of everything. And I'm going to use this layer to kind of draw some details on here real quick. And then we're going to actually paint this. So I've got a black pen and we're just going to kind of draw some lines for our pumpkin just so we can kind of imagine what this is going to look like when it's finished. Can't see them as well on the black and white pumpkin. Oh, I don't like that. I love how fast you are at this. <laughs> I've had lots and lots of practice. It definitely takes practice to get used to all the little buttons and things on the app. But I actually have a course and we haven't mentioned it yet. But if you guys are interested in learning how to do this, we have a course that teaches it. It's called Procreate for Makers. And um, I have my link and Heidi's affiliate link up there. So if you're watching on Heidi's page, please use her link. Um, and you can learn how to do this. The course is $97. It's six modules long. It's something you could get through in just a couple of days, uh, depending on how fast you want to work through the course. Um, and so now that we have this created, let's print it out. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG image. And then I'm going to print that image so that we have something to look at. Let me go to, where's my camera roll at? <laughs> So if people want to do this course, they just, they basically need an iPad, of course, right? Yes, you definitely would need an iPad. You can't just use a, um, you can't just use a, like a tablet. It has okay. to be an iPad. Yeah, so it isn't like Android. I think people ask about, it has to be the Apple iPad. Right. Oh, somebody asked if the course covers lettering. Uh, no, it does not. We will probably be touching on a little bit of that in our advanced course that we plan to release in 2022. Um, we, we kind of stayed with the beginner stuff in this, this course. So if you're a beginner, you have no idea where to start, where to what, what the buttons even do. Um, mm -hmm. This will definitely help you with that. Okay, we're printing out the picture oh. right now, and then we're going to paint. It's so cute. Okay, so we're doing the Procreate course. So if you want to do it, just go ahead and click the link in the description. Um, and it just saves so much time. Oh, my gosh. 
I should show you all the layers on that Santa after so many paintings. <laughs> so bad. Uh, yeah, it just takes on. Now you can see which colors you like. And yeah, so excited. Okay, so now she's going to paint it. And for those of y'all that don't know Tamara, make sure you go follow her if you're on. <clears throat> so sorry. <laughs> if you're on, I have, I have so many allergies right now, Tamara. It's, Texas is attacking my face. It's crazy. So there's the print. So if you haven't followed her on Southern um, Adornment, make sure you, you check her out. Yeah. So for your friends who are doing paint parties, imagine how mm. awesome it would be to be able to create this before you go to the party and print one out for every guest at the party to have as a reference. Mm. Yeah, that's so cool. So now we have our reference picture and we can start painting our pumpkins. I'm going to change the camera angle so everybody can see a little better. Oh, I thought I was high enough up to get the whole pumpkin. So we may have to move it as we go here. I don't know. Yeah, Sandra asked, do they get a free set of brushes with the course? At, and Procreate comes with a ton of brushes. Yes, so Procreate comes with a bunch of brushes and the entire course is taught with the brushes you get when you buy the Procreate app, because the Procreate app is like $9.99. And so we are teaching inside that app using the brushes that it comes with. Now, if you want to purchase more brushes, um, you can go to places like uh, designbundles.com or um, what are those other websites that sell like fonts and things Defonts, like that? Defonts, yes. com. So any place that sells like different kinds of fonts or digital downloads would have Procreate brushes. Okay, you guys ready to make this look awesome? So let's start out with some white paint. Oh, let me turn my ring lights on so you guys can see a little better. I feel like we're so techie because we're like taking technology and <laughs> our crafts to the next level. Yeah, it's, it's up leveling us. I feel like it's helping us. I don't know. It's it's bringing art from the digital world into the real world and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And you can make a bunch of designs. So if you're traveling and you don't want to bring all your paints with you, oh, you yeah. could you know create designs. And then once you're ready, get home and then start painting it all. Yeah, Jenny says Creative Market has a really nice set of brushes too. Very cool. Um, yeah, Sarah. Um, the link should be on um, on the description so if you need the, to buy the thing. So all the paints I'm using right now are the DecoArt Americana paints. I started with a white. Now I'm using my favorite pumpkin color, Canyon Orange. Show me. Oh, <laughs> Shan's taking pictures. She said, show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> she likes to take pictures for the blog. So that's awesome. And we're just using a flat tip brush and covering this each pumpkin with its base coat color. And then we'll add our little patterns and things on top of that in a moment. Now, Heidi is going to be doing a live with us here in just a few minutes, and she's going to be painting. Do you want to tell them a little bit about what you're planning to do, Heidi? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to teach a painted prayer. Um, and the reason I just want to show, especially like, is there anybody on here that gets nervous about trying to paint something or blending the colors? Like a lot of times we paint things just in simple, straight colors, you know, one solid color block or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I want to show you how you can blend colors, how you can use stencils, and then also how you can take something that's really meaningful, whether it's, um, a, you know, a prayer, a verse, um, something that has, you know, inspired you whatever that looks like and turn it into something that you can look, look at all the time. I love that idea. Yeah. I've been there are a lot of people on my page right now who are intimidated to paint their first door hanger. And, you know, knowing that there's like no rules or like, um, you know, that it doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like that's really comforting to people. Yes. Yeah. And it's, um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think the coolest thing about a painter prayer is you get to, um, it's something that's meaningful to you. So it doesn't have to be perfect because when you see those words, that's the part that's meaningful. So I'm going to show you an easy trick to make, make some cool things happen. Okay. So all you're doing is getting the, the colors on there. And then I can't wait to see you do the leopard. Oh yeah. That's going to be cute. And we're just going to do that with a round tip brush. So the colors I've used so far are white, canyon orange, 
the the teal down at the bottom is actually a retired one. It's called Sea Aqua. But I think there's a couple of other colors that are pretty, really similar to this you could use if you don't have this particular one because it's a retired color. What did you just put the brown on there first? Shouldn't I have? No, I said, is that what you just put that brown oh. on first? Yeah, I put this uh, sable brown. I put it on the stem. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay, let me draw this real quick so we can start doing some patterns. Uh, it is called Sea Aqua. Yeah, Sea Aqua. Why would they discontinue that? That's a pretty color. I don't know. <laughs> and Glennis wants to know if we sign up for the course, will there also be a Facebook group for all that sign up to ask questions or have discussions? We actually don't have a course. I mean, don't have a Facebook group for that course. Um, but if they have questions, they can text them to me. I put my text number in the description up here. And then, of course, I can go in and answer their questions if they comment underneath one of the videos and stuff like that. We just already have so many Facebook groups. We decided not to create yet another Facebook group <laughs> or yeah. something else. Uh, that makes most sense. of the people who've taken the course are like in my community already. So they can ask their questions publicly, like in our community groups and stuff. Well, the course really is for beginners, right? This is yeah. like if nobody who has done, I mean, if they are like just now got their iPad, is this going to help them? If, yeah. If they're wanting to learn how to draw on their iPad and they just got it and they, you know, they're still frustrated. I can't tell you how many people have told me I downloaded that app. I paid $10 for it and I still can't figure out how to use it. <laughs> yeah. So now we're just going to add our little polka dots like we planned. And I'm using a marigold yellow. And I'm just using a little sponge pouncers to do this. Makes it go real quick. Let's see. Let me get a sticky note out. Can you hand me a sticky note? I'm going to put it up here kind of like painter's tape so I can create one halfway on and halfway off. <laughs> I love that. I use that trick. Once I saw you do that, I was like, that is so brilliant, Tamara. Yep. Half on and half off polka dots with a sticky note. Okay. It's the $9.99, the Procreate. That's just a one time buy, right? For the yeah. dollar. Yeah. You get the app for $9.99. And then you can. Um, Sorry, I'm picking colors here. <laughs> you get to keep it forever. And they, they update that app pretty regularly. So if they give add a new feature or something, you get it for no extra cost. That's awesome. Okay, I'm pulling out a color to do our leopard print. Let's try this Laguna color. And I'm just using a round tip brush. And I'm just creating little wiggly circles that are kind of disconnected in the middle. Leopard print's so fun. I feel like it's such an easy way to add a pattern to something because it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, and it's fun to do at paint parties because people feel very successful with that. Yes. Whenever it can be like so intimidating, but you can be very, very successful with just doing, it looks almost like just wiggly parentheses. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Wendy asked, do you have to have an iPad 12 Pro for the app? Um, you'll have to actually go to the app store and look and see because some of the newer iPads do not have to be an iPad Pro. They can just be a regular iPad. Um, but if it's an old iPad that's not an iPad Pro, then it might not be compatible. So I would look at the fine print on the app, in the app store and see if it has your iPad listed as compatible. Yeah. And anybody that's out there, you know, wanting to get um, an iPad, I always recommend, like if you're doing this as a business, I know everybody's on a different, um, different, you know, stage of where they're at, you know, you may just be starting or whatever. So use what you have. But if you're doing this for a business, I always recommend getting, if you're about to buy one anyway, get the newest that they have because in a year it won't be the newest. And right. so it changes so fast. It does. Yeah. Wendy wants to know, um, do you have to have an Apple pen for Procreate or can I get away with using a basic stylist in the beginning? In the beginning, I feel like you can get away with a basic stylist, but there is a big difference when you're drawing on there using an Apple, like the, 
uh, the, the reaction time, I guess is what I'm trying to say of the Apple pencil and the way it feels like you're really drawing on paper is different with an Apple pencil. So your experience is going to be better with an Apple pencil. But if you want to just practice with the stylus until you feel confident, this is really something you want to, you know, invest in, then you could get the Apple pencil. Yeah. And Let's see. Gigi says she ordered an iPad and a regular stylus and use Procreate. I'm upgrading now, but for months this has worked. Yeah, I'm I'm very scrappy myself. <laughs> so I use what I can. Um, but then once you are ready to, to upgrade, yeah. And somebody on here said, and you can write it off on your taxes if it's a business. Very true, Tammy. That's always my excuse to buy the things I really want. <laughs> I know that I think that's why I went into paint party business. I was like, how awesome is this? I can write off my crafts and paints. This is the best job ever. Absolutely. Pam says all two of my favorite people live at the same time. Doesn't get much better. Oh, thanks, Pam. So we're wrapping up painting this, but once we're done, I would love to tell everybody about the workshop that we have coming up the first week of November. If, if any of you watching have never painted a door hanger before, we've got a workshop coming up where we're going to teach you how to paint a door hanger step by step. And so you can follow along with us. It'll be a guided experience. So you won't be having to figure things out on your own. And it's just $10 to sign up. Okay. We've got all of our patterns on there. Oh, so how cute. Now the final thing is just adding these little lines and stuff. So I'm just going to dry it real quick. And we'll probably do that with paint pens since it's super quick. Do you like um, using the paint pens? Yes, I do. Every now and then I'll use a brush, but sometimes I like to use the paint pens just for fast results. Is that a blow dryer that does not make sound? <laughs> it's a heated craft tool. Oh, it's I got to buy one of those. It's like Whisper Quiet. One of my viewers told me about it and I had to go buy it right away. Ooh, do you have an affiliate link for that? I can buy one? Yes. Yeah, we can drop it in the comments here in a bit. <laughs> yeah, I need one of those real. I mean, I'm telling you, when I do my blow dryer, not only is it loud, it blows everything off my table and it's so frustrating. Yeah, this one blows nice and soft and it's quiet so I can answer questions and keep talking while I paint. So I feel like it's really improved my live videos because before I would have to stop talking and I wouldn't be able to read comments or answer questions. Yes, all of my people want this, including me. We all want. <laughs> okay, I'll go grab the affiliate link while I'm still drying. Yes, yes, please link for the dryer. That is so funny. We totally need that. <laughs> Tammy, <laughs> that's so funny. So what's the advantage of Procreate? You draw on an iPad. Oh, I love the blow dryer. So Lydia wants to know the advantage of Procreate. Um, it helps you design digitally b b without having to paint over something over and over again. Yeah. So a great example for all of y'all in paint party headquarters. Um, I just designed a Santa that's going to be released to y'all the beginning of November. And, um, <laughs> this poor Santa, um, when you're telling about the challenge, I might bring the Santa out so they can see how many layers of mess ups I did before I got it right. So if you're a person who wants to do, you know, kind of techie stuff like this, you can actually design your paintings before you get all the, the paint out and things like that. I just wish I had, like, I stopped doing paint parties, but I wish I had had this as a resource back when I was doing paint parties because it would have made things so much easier for me to kind of send somebody or, or when I was doing custom orders even because... I used to have to kind of like just hope that the customer was going to like the end result and I couldn't send them something ahead of time, you know, that was kind of like a mock-up. And so now yeah. I can kind of like create a mock-up, send it to them. And if they don't like it, I can make changes and edits and stuff like that beforehand. Yeah. That's such a good tool for all of y'all that are like, you know, designing your own paintings. It's really, really great. Cause then you can see, and then you could change the colors too. Like what if you don't like the turquoise or maybe next year, you know, whatever's on trend for next year, you could, you know, basically take what you already created and just change it up a little bit. So here's our pumpkin. Look, almost exactly like the colors are a little different, but 
I actually like this color turquoise better than the one we picked on the iPad. So this is what I went with. Yay. I love it. <laughs> Yay. So, it's it's awesome. so fun. We created it digitally and now we made it happen on wood. How fun is that? In less than like 25 minutes. <laughs> How fast is that? Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Keep smiling. Shan's like, hold it up. I need a picture for the vlog. <laughs> Uh, okay, That's so awesome. before um, we dismiss, because Heidi is going to do a live right after me, can I tell you guys about the new workshop we have coming up? So this is the one that we're going to be painting November 1st through the 5th. It's going to be a week-long um, workshop. Each day we'll do a different part. The first day we'll do the background. The second day we'll do like the tree. Uh, then the third day we'll actually take a break to let people get caught up and we'll do a Zoom paint party together. It's just $10 to sign up. We're going to send you a uh, printable template that you can download and print out on your home computer. It prints out on four sheets and then you tape them together and then you use some graphite paper like from Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Lay it on your wood underneath the template and trace it and your image will look exactly like this and then you can just paint inside the lines. Um, that is so cute. It makes me really want one of those little cakes really bad. <laughs> And so all they're really going to have to pick up is like an 18 inch wooden round from some shop. Like they can go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere that sells wood cutouts. Or if they're crafty, they can cut out their own wood circle. So it just needs to be about 18 inches. That's awesome. Yeah. And anybody, if you want to, I know a lot of you are watching from Texas Art and Soul. Um, where can they find you, Tamara, if they want to follow and learn more about all of this? Um, I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> was telling me don't forget to tell them how to get to Heidi's page after this is over <laughs> oh yeah I was saying anybody who um, on Texas Art and Soul that wants to follow you or learn more about you because you're just so much fun so where can they go you can find me at Southern Adornments Decor on Facebook TikTok all the places I do videos everywhere so you can find me um, there and then of course if you're watching from my page I want you to hop over um, to Texas Art and Soul and follow Heidi as well um, because she's going to be going live next. Yes. And she is so funny on TikTok. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all got to go watch her TikToks. They're <laughs> awesome. Okay. So if you want to take um, the Procreate course, it's only, is it 97? Yes. The Procreate 97. course is $97 and then the workshop is $10. So they can learn how to draw digitally with the Procreate app or they can paint in real life with me in the workshop. Yes. So if you want to check that out, there's links in the description. I also pinned one um, in the comments so you can just grab it and then be a part of that and get to hang out with Tamara. Um, she's so much fun, so knowledgeable, and she's very, very open. I mean, there's a lot of people online that don't share so openly. She is one of those that just over gives. And so that's why I love her so much. And I'm so excited to just share her with you and see if you want to learn more about Procreate because I don't really like, I don't want to teach that. So <laughs> she does. And <laughs> she's really good at it. All right. Yeah, Anything, you're welcome. Anything else you want to say before we go, Tamara? Um, I don't think so. Somebody was asking, where can we watch Heidi next? She's actually going to be on both pages as well. So right now we are using fancy technology that allows us to stream to her page and mine. So you can watch here at Southern Adornments Decor over or over on Heidi's page at Texas Art and Soul. Yeah. Um, what time is it right now? It is 1130. So what time do you want to say we're going to go live again? Um, what, 1145. Okay. Will that we'll work? See you guys in 15 minutes. All right. See y'all soon. Bye. Guys. Bye. <laughs>